All right, so now that we've set up our products, it's time to get to the fun part, and that is to set up our sales funnel. So we have our five products here, and the way I'm going to set this up is I'm going to have these three products as side-by-side uh, -side options uh, on the front end, so the customer can choose between these three options as the front end offer. Uh, and then uh, we're going to upsell them the strategic campaign after they've bought one of these, and then after that we're going to upsell them the live campaign. I don't have any down sells, but uh, PayKickstart does support down sells if you wanted to do something like that. So uh, if, for example, he said no thanks to the strategic campaign and you wanted to maybe offer them a discounted version, uh, you could set that up uh, in here. So you would create a strategic campaign discounted or whatever you want to call it. Uh, set up the pricing in there or in fact you don't even need to do that you could actually use the same product and then override the, the price settings uh, directly inside of the funnel on the downsell but um, so let me just show you how that works so on the left hand side here we're just going to click over on funnels all right i've actually set up my funnel already but we're just going to add a new one so that i can show you how that works and the final title is going to uh, i'm actually just going to call this test because I already have my uh, funnel set up. All right, so um, you can choose between uh, whether or not you want the affiliates to be able to promote this funnel. Um, if you leave it as no affiliate, it means your affiliates are not going to be able to actually get links that point to this funnel at all. Um, and you can, of course, choose selected affiliates as well. So you can actually have like exclusive funnels for specific affiliates, which is really cool if you want to set up like custom landing pages and stuff for them. Um, and then the other option is if I choose all affiliates or even selected affiliates, um, you'll see there's an option to hide links from affiliates. So what might happen is you might want to set up two separate funnels uh, for whatever reason, but one of those funnels you don't want to actually publish the links to the affiliates. But if the affiliate does send traffic to another funnel um, and then that traffic ends up on your on your hidden funnel, the affiliates will still get credit for it. So you would choose all affiliates and then hide links so that the affiliates wouldn't be able to directly drive traffic to that hidden funnel. Um, so I'm just going to leave it as all affiliates and hit save. All right, so uh, this is our funnel builder. So the very first op um, the very first thing here is your front end offer. So these are going to be uh, the three products which we're going to offer on the front end and save and once that's done uh, paykickstart will then now give us the option of adding a level an oto or a one-time offer and to do that we're just going to click the green plus button here and then we said we were going to offer them the strategic campaign as an upsell and i'm going to hit save here all right and then after the first oto when i actually choose the next level you'll see it splits and it gives me a yes and a no now if i leave this and i don't put any options under select products it will just uh once i've gone through the front end and the otos uh it will actually just redirect to the thank you page and that will be the end of the funnel but i have one more level and that's going to be my live campaign and i'm going to attach that here under yes so if they say um Yes, please. Uh, they, they purchased the strategic. Uh, the next offer will be the live campaign. I can actually also do a no. So I could add, for example, the live campaign here as well, if I wanted to. So if you said yes or no, it would still go either way to uh, the live campaign offer, right? And um, and you can just continue building this funnel out. So I can continue down here. So I can have a whole different um, set of rules, a set of products and offers based on his behavior, his yes clicks and his no clicks, right? So um, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. So that's another feature that this funnel builder has. You can actually zoom out and sort of take a big overview look of um, your whole funnel here. All right, and then over on the left-hand side, you've got some other options. You can actually change the, the thank you page to a custom thank you page. And if you want to pass uh, post data to your custom thank you page, you can do that as well. Um, I'm just happy to... Uh, actually, I think I am going to use a custom thank you page. Uh, let's find out what my thank you page is. All right, so I think this is going to be it right here. So I'm just going to grab the link for this. Uh, 
It's still in draft, but that's okay. Alright, let's just grab that link. Okay, and then I'll drop that in there. Watch out for white space. I did notice there was an extra space there. Watch out for that. Uh, I'm not going to pass any data to the thank you page. There's no need. Um, and you'll remember the affiliate option from when you're creating the funnel. I, I have access to that here. Um, I don't want to hide links from the affiliates and I do want to show in the marketplace. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit save here. So that's what my funnel is going to look like. All right, a uh, couple of things here. So well, now that we've set up the funnel, we need to um, grab the checkout page links for this funnel and drop them into our uh, sales pages on the front end. So if I click over here on um, the little icon down here next to each level, it's got an option that says copy link. When I click that, it's going to open up. And as you can see, because I've added three products, I can see three blocks here. Um, Pekix that actually also gives you options like using a pop-up widget or even an embed form, um, which allows you to uh, not use an actual checkout page like this, a checkout URL that takes them to a different checkout page, but allows you to actually embed the checkout directly onto uh, wherever it is that you want to actually have that offer. So you could literally create your own sort of checkout page and drop the embed form in there or you could add a pop-up widget in here. And all you need to do is just toggle that on like that. And then you can actually choose a design, what the widget should look like. And then this provides the embed code. And then that's the um, the URL that you're going to put into the button to trigger the pop-up, for example. Um, embed forms, same kind of concept. You choose your design. Uh, you can design the button a little bit and then you get an embed code. And if you drop that in wherever you want it, um, that's you know where your form's basically going to load. Um, you'll, you'll remember the auto bump option in the checkout designer, checkout page designer. This is where you can actually add an auto bump uh, to your product. So for each funnel, you could add a different auto bump or unique settings or whatever it is. Um, and then from here, whoops, looks like a little bit of a UI that needs fixing here. But you could basically um, add, uh, say, uh, Magisocial Social to platforms or something like that. And then what you'll see happen is now it gives you the option to, uh, you know, create the description for the auto bump, um, maybe give it a different name. Um, and you can also override pricing here. You'll see there's an override price option here. And if I check that open, I can now go ahead and change those prices uh, for the auto bump. Um, so I'm just going to turn that off though, because I don't need to do that. Um, and then this is my checkout URL. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to go and put that on our savings uh, on our sales page. I'm not going to use any of the pop-up widgets or embed forms. I'm just going to use the plain checkout URL. Drop that. And then I think we just grabbed. Uh, okay, so that's my page content writing service. There we go. Just edit that one there. All right, and then we need to scroll down. Okay, so I've got a little tab set up over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit that. Edit one platform. Hmm. Here it is, and my button is down here. All right, now I just need to look and find. Okay, so here's my button link right there. All right, obviously this uh, this depends on on what you're using. You might be using ClickFunnels or something, uh, some other landing page builder. But basically, what you want to do is grab the link from here for each individual offer and drop it wherever it is that you know you've got a button or uh, a URL or a link. Uh, to go to that checkout page. All right, so here's my checkout URL. I've dropped it in here already. And then I'm just going to hit uh, 
I'm just going to do it for the rest of my options here. So we go to platform two, and then back over to Paykick Start. Grab the two platform option, and then I will drop that in here. All right. I, as I said, I already have a funnel, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, and then you know, three platforms, same thing. And then obviously, when I get to the OTOs, I'll have to open up the OTO over um, link option over here. So I'll open that up. 8040 and then go into there scroll down find where your link is and then in this case um, um, because this page is actually not my strategic campaign offer page I'm just doing like a read more from here so um, I, I'm not going to edit it here I'll show you where I'm going to edit that because that's not my offer page for the social um, for the social campaign so I'm gonna go back to my to my other list of pages because you remember it's a different page entirely it'll it'll actually show up after uh, they've bought one of the front-end offers uh, so I need to find strategic campaign here we go so this is going to be the page that I want to show up after um, the front-end offers okay uh, right so I just need to find my button again which um, that could be it right there. There we go. So there it is. There's my button. So then I would drop that in there. So I paste that in there. Uh, okay um, and then you do that for the other page as well all right so a um, couple more options that I wanted to show you here as well if you look under override settings uh, each funnel allows you to actually override the landing URL um, for um, for those products okay so um, if you do want to create a new funnel and not have to create a whole new set of products just because you've got a new sales page that you want to split test or you want to offer a different um, offer for um, for a specific affiliate or something, you can actually do that at the funnel level and you don't have to create new products. And you'll see here I can actually override the price of each product also within the funnel. So I can open up my uh, single platform option here and I can change the price that I'm actually going to be offering it at. I can even change whether or not it's a subscription and I can add split pay and I can do all sorts of uh, cool things from here. So um, I'm not going to, I can actually put the landing URL in here because um, you'll remember I've got three products in one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the landing URLs into my uh, funnel for the first, for the front end offer, which is this content writing service. Uh, which is this page right here. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to put that in there like that. And I'm going to hit save. All right. All right. So our uh, front end product, uh, the one platform over here, now has that content writing service. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure that the live campaign and strategic campaigns landing URLs at the product settings are correct. Uh, I'm done now with this funnel, so I'm going to go click exit, save and exit. Uh, and I'm going to go to campaigns. And then I'm just going to edit strategic campaign. And I'm also just going to open up the live campaign while we're at it. And then switch over here, grab the link for strategic campaign. Right, scroll down. There we go. So you see it's still, I've got the landing URL set for content writing service, which is incorrect. So I'm going to switch that over to strategic campaign. You'll remember we cloned these products. So I'm just going to switch that over. And then I'm going to grab the live campaigns URL. And um, here's the live campaign options. And I'm going to fix that landing URL. So remember the funnels landing URL will override these uh, these landing page URL settings over here. And if you have more than one product on, on a funnel step, I recommend you use the override to make sure that it goes to the correct landing URL. Otherwise, it may get a little confused as to which uh, 
product landing URL to actually go to. All right, so um, that's it. So uh, we've set up our pages. So the next step is to just go ahead and actually test this whole funnel out.